A really crucial part of any scripting is if statements and boolean checks, otherwise known as a true-false variable. In this example, we have a GUI text element which we're going to switch from saying one particular word or phrase to another based on a boolean variable. So I'm going to start by creating a JavaScript file. I'm going to rename that, I'm just going to call that bool, and I'm going to double click it to launch it in a script editor. So at the top, I'm going to declare this variable. So I'm going to say var my check. I'm going to type that to boolean and to begin with, set it to true. So I don't need to say that. I could just say boolean and let the script set it, but I'm going to start off with it and true. And in the update function, we're going to need to check this all the time. So we want to constantly check what the status of my check is. So to begin with, I'm going to put in an if statement that says if my check double equals to compare true. So what we're saying here is if my check is true, then do something. Now we can write that a bit shorter. So whenever you want to say is true, you can simply write the name of the variable like that. So I can say if my check then we'll do a particular thing. So we're going to attach this to the GUI text object. So we can simply say GUI text to name the class and say dot text is equal to, and we'll say it's on like that. So we can say it's on as a, a phrase and we're just feeding it into the text variable of the GUI text component on the object we're going to attach this script to in a moment. So when that is true, which it is at the moment, that piece of text is going to be fed into that object. And we can then say else, so as long as my check isn't true, so the only other option, we can say GUI text dot text, single equals to set, as opposed to the double we saw earlier to compare, and we'll say it's off. Okay, so what I can do is save that, switch back to Unity and attach that script onto the GUI text. And when I press play, it feeds that piece of text in because we know when I started off, that Boolean is set to true. So we know it's true, so it says it's on. What I can do is just click on that object and we'll see that that variable was formed a member variable there because it's not got private in front of it. It just says var. We can see my check there is as a variable. If I untick that, and press play, you can see it says it's off. Okay, so booleans are really useful because you can use them to check any kind of states of things. So when something happens within a script or within a game uh, mechanic, you can say, okay, well, I'll set a, a boolean here to on or off. Um, and then at some point I'll check it to see what the status of that particular uh, thing happens to be. So just to give you another example of that, we'll go back to our script and we'll put in a key press. So we'll say if uh, input, dot get button up and we'll use jump which is by default the spacebar and then we we'll use a double ampersand which uh, will add on another condition into this if statement so the first thing that's got to be true is that that button's been released so up get button up jump is released double ampersand means and also this must be the case so we'll say my check it would be double equals true, but we know from earlier we can just say my check means is true, like that. So I can say at this point we'll set it to false. So if the button's been pressed um, and it's currently true, then it gets set to false. And then we can say else if the button is pressed. So I'm going to be really lazy here and copy paste that piece in. And here I can say double equals false. Then we'll set my check to true. So if the button's pressed and it's true, set it to false. If the button is pressed and it's currently false, set it to true. So I'll save that, switch back to Unity. And now when I press play, I can press the space bar. When I release it, it's switching my check to true or false and thereby switching the text to it's on or it's off. So that's a basic usage of if statements 
and Boolean checks in Unity.